Hello and welcome to Ivory Blush Roses. I wanted to show you my minimal watercolor plein air painting setup. I've got a helper today. You can see Mushu here. We can't do this without a cat. So. so this is my little pack. It's actually a packable day pack that I got when I was traveling in England from the National Trust. And I absolutely love it. It's comfortable, it's lightweight, and it actually holds a huge amount and is surprisingly comfortable. So I have a little thermometer on here. And then in this front pocket, I just keep some extra supplies like hand sanitizer. I think I have sun protective lip balm, some tissues, a little extra cash just in case. And one of the most important things is um, insect repellent wipes because the bugs really like me. And extra pen and pencil. And then my wallet usually goes in there. I don't keep anything in this front little pouch unless I need something extra. For a water bottle, I'm just using an old water bottle. Just reuse it all the time and it works really well. In the main compartment, I have my watercolor supplies, and typically this has whatever I need for the day. In here, I have my hat. I have really fair skin, and I have to wear a hat. And for me, it is an absolute necessity. I keep my binoculars in here, and I often will put a camera in. I'm trying to keep everything nice and light. I keep a bandana. It's a handkerchief if I need it. I can use it to wipe my paint brushes. They're good as a spot to put my food out when I'm eating. So usually I'll pack my lunch in here. So it's just a handy thing to have. And I also keep a piece of oil cloth. You know, it's plasticized on one side, fabric on the other. But if I'm on the ground, it gives me a place to sit that's dry. And I always fit that down in the bottom of my pack. And then I have my watercolor kit and my sketchbooks. And that is all that's in this pack, pretty much. These are the moleskin sketchbooks. And this particular one, I realized I still had some room in it, so I'm trying to finish it up. But I started this back in 2006, I think. So I like the weight of the paper. And I usually will write notes on the back so that you can see what it was and where I was. So it makes a good travel journal. But I still have a few pages in there and I'm trying to get it finished off. And when I get to the end, I'll actually write in white ink on the back the dates that that book goes. So I think that's the five by about seven and a half size. And then this is the, actually the size that I use the most. This is the three and a half by five and a half inch size. It's also the Moleskin Art Watercolor Book. This is one I began in France in 2018, and then I've been using it since then. And this also has just a handful of pages left. Now, one of the things I've added to this book is this little tiny bulldog clip. When you're holding the book flat, a lot of times the page wants to curl up and I can just clip it on the edge. It doesn't take up very much space, and but it keeps my page flat and keeps it from blowing around when I'm working on it. And then when I'm storing it, I just fold it in flat, close it, and then these books have the elastic that keeps it closed. That's the two sketchbooks that I carry with me and I rarely carry anything different. This is my little watercolor kit. This is made by Caddy. I'm not sure that they're made anymore. I've been using it for a long time and I've really loved it. The top flaps fold down and it makes a nice little pouch that stands on its own pretty easily. And it holds everything, keeps it nice and upright. It's also got this little pocket here. I don't know if you can see the tabs, but it Velcro's open on both the top and the bottom. So I can either open it when I have it in this configuration or when it's upward. So for brushes, my favorite brushes for doing plain air watercolor are the Windsor and Newton Cotman brushes. Those are the ones I like. Then I have two watercolor pencils in a Van Dyke brown and a blue gray. These are DeWent watercolor brushes. And a lot of times I will make my sketch with these and then as I do the watercolor, it blends into the watercolor and you don't have the pencil left showing. But I also carry a mechanical pencil. Um, this is a Quicker Clicker by Pentel and they're my favorite. Um, they just, they fit well in my hand and I keep my index finger on the clicker. And so as I'm drawing, I can click if I need to lengthen the lead, and that works really well. And I actually carry two, I carry a backup. 
I also carry a Sakura Pigma Micron pen. Ooh. This is a 01 size. I used to carry a whole bunch of them, but I found this was the one I used most of the time. So I'm trying to lighten my load and not carry quite so much. I also carry a Jelly Roll pen in white, and it's good for adding light accents. I do carry a water brush. I don't use it a lot, but it's there if I need it. It has water in it. I also carry a little water mister, and I use that to get my paint palette wet. When I'm outside, they dry out pretty quickly. I carry a paper towel that I keep folded up. And then I have my paint palette. And this is a Winsor Newton Cotman Sketchers box. It used to be called a travel kit, but it has 12 colors in it. And I have swapped out most of the colors for the professional grade rather than the student grade, just because the pigment load is a little bit more intense. But I like it really well, and I'll show you in a few minutes how I actually use it. And I like that it has the mixing trays with it as well. So the other thing I keep in here, I have a couple of binder clips in different sizes, um, including an extra one of those little micro ones. And then in the pocket here, I keep the roll of artist tape. And so if I want to mask off the edge, I can do that with this. And I also keep a art gum eraser chunk. And so everything I need is right here and there's very little else that I need. So now let me show you how I actually put all this together and use it when I'm painting in the field. I'll open up my book to the new place. I will take my paper towel and my paint box and my water and then I have my brush or pencil and I'm ready to go. And usually I'm sitting I don't usually sketch standing up, so this is resting on my lap, or occasionally I have another board that I'll bring with me that I'll rest it on. But this setup has worked really, really well for me. I don't know how many sketchbooks of watercolors I've filled now using this exact setup with those materials. I've been trying to get rid of everything that I don't use. That's my minimal watercolor setup. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for being patient with all of the various cat activity here. I can see Finn is getting into trouble and Mushu is certainly making his presence known. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.